Sussex Sharks are now the only unbeaten team in the South Group of the Vitality Blast after thrashing Kent in Hove by nine wickets with four overs to spare. Put in, the group leaders Kent watched Zach Crawley strike two sixes in the opening two overs, delivered by Danny Briggs and Zofra Archer. But the returning Chris Jordan needed only three balls to remove the dangerous batsman with a peach. Jordan's second over was an expensive one, however, as Daniel Bell Drummond twice cleared the rope off the pace man, the Spitfires having 50 runs on the board after five overs. The last of the power play saw the end of Ollie Robinson, Timal Mills yet again proving his worth in this format. His first two overs cost only 12 runs and also brought him the wicket of Heino Kuhn, held by Delroy Rawlins for five, the visitors on 69 for three after eight. Mohamed Nabi looked dangerous, as he has done for much of this competition. But he lost Bell Drummond for 50 at the other end, Rashid Khan getting his man with a googly. Rashid's last over went for 17 runs, one Afghanistan player outgunning another, Nabi taking the total to 122 for four, with five overs remaining. David Visa was held back until over number 16 and struck with his third delivery to remove Alex Blake for seven. Archer then returned and delivered an over which went for only three before Mills had Nabby held by Briggs to end with figures of three for 23. Archer would have been pleased to end with one for 28, Adam Milne skying to Phil Salt before troubling the scorers, while Jordan finished off the innings by removing Hardest Villian for a golden, Kent ending their 20 overs on 154 for eight. And that proved to be way below par. Salt was quickly into his stride, 12 runs knocked off in the first over, and another eight in the second as Luke Wright put back to ball to good effect. Wright then tucked into Villian, three boundaries being taken off successive deliveries as the total raced up to 38 after four. Wright was bowled for 24, but that turned out to be the only moment of joy for the visiting team. Salt once again proved to be irresistible as the target was brought down to 74 of the final 10 overs. Laurie Evans had time to get his eye in and then went nuts to finish the game off in a flash, those 74 actually arriving in only six overs. Salt reached his 50 off 37 balls, leaving it to his partner to take over Evans racing through the numbers with ease. There was going to be no nail biting on this occasion. Evans 50 arrived with a six of Fred Clarsen, the mark reach for the batsman's 29th delivery. The next ball was struck for four and the following one for another maximum as the Sharks were left with only eight runs to find from five overs. And to the last ball of the 16th, Salt found the rope for one last time, he ending on 63 from 44, Evans with 65 from 35. It was, put simply, a thrashing, and the Sharks will hope for something equally comprehensive when they now head to Bristol to take on Gloucestershire on Sunday.